Jason Jr. will now give the commencement address. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2018-2019. It is with the deepest gratitude that I thank the Board of Trustees and Officers of De La Salle University for this great honor that you have bestowed on me with this conferment of an honoris causa. <clears throat> the graduating class is composed of 1,479 graduates from across different majors, colleges, and disciplines. And obviously, the commencement can no longer be accommodated on campus. DLSU has grown so much in the last 20 years but they have built buildings on every inch of open space. <laughs> if allowed to do so, they would probably build on top of Taft Avenue as well. <laughs> it's entirely appropriate that the commencement be held here at the BICC, since we would have had to park here anyway. <laughs> DLSU has made large investments to constantly improve education in our country. And the LaSalle system has expanded with new campuses and colleges outside of Metro Manila. LaSalle itself is in fact one of the great success stories in our country. Thanks in no small part to the dedicated visionaries of LaSalle who are responsible for these incredible achievements. The university has also invested in a multicolored lighting system <laughs> so that they can light up the campus in the color of the team that had just beaten us in basketball. <laughs> but sad to say, the only color that they have not been able to use so far is green. <laughs> to the graduating class, today is one of those days that you will forever remember. Today is the culmination of all the study and hard work that you have put in virtually all your young lives and is the conclusion of a long and fulfilling chapter. And you now step into an entirely new phase in your lives and your careers. You have achieved what many strive to achieve, a college education from the most esteemed institution in the country. Some of you will be doctors, some of you will be engineers, scientists, computer programmers or businessmen. Unfortunately, some of you will be lawyers. <laughs> and some of you will just be happy not to have to ride the LRT anymore. <laughs> and I pleasantly find myself in your company, finally receiving a diploma. The difference is it has taken you roughly three years, where it has taken me 35 years. <laughs> Suffice it to say that I am not a shining example for academic achievement. <laughs> this was the only way ever possible for me to receive a diploma. <laughs> Back in the day, it was enough to be smart, very hardworking, and together with some luck to be successful, not just in business, but in any endeavor one had chosen. When I started out, times were very different. Nowadays, not earning a college education would be a severe handicap as the world is much more competitive and skills involving technology are a must, which was not the case back then. But every era has its own challenges and we must all adapt. When I left school to start my working career, the country was in a much darker place than it is today. Yet I entered that phase full of hope, excitement, and with confidence for the future. So I can imagine how all of you are feeling today. This is the promise of youth, and I envy all of you for that. When I first joined the real world, so to speak, there was one thing I did not possess, which I want to impart to you today, and that is fear. A lack of fear enabled me to take the risks that I needed to take without fearing the failures that are necessary for success. To explain what I do is a, is a very long story. But the shortest possible version is, we started operating one port in Manila many years ago. And today we manage and operate 32 ports around the globe and in every continent. Nothing has given me more pleasure than seeing the faces of people after we have successfully won these ports 
when they realize that we are Filipinos. There is no challenge that we won't face. There is no battle that we won't fight. And there is no backing down. I cannot say that the world is better or worse than the one I entered into. But this is the only one you have, so make the best of it. And do what you have passion for regardless of what that is. Every generation should be better than that preceding it. And the hope is your generation be outstanding and make our country a better place for the next generation. I wish you all a bright future and the best of luck. Animo la sal! Thank you, Dr. Rason. Thank you.